Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are at SEMA 2022. Guys, we've done all the walking for you so you don't have to. We've found so much stuff here. We're gonna make three videos and this is number one. All right, I'm pumped to show you guys this one. This is Whistling Diesel's, I think it's 1600 horsepower, General Lee. Uh, he's had it in a couple videos on his farm in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, which is just across the state from us. Uh, we're gonna see if this thing's got the busted when, yep, it's got the busted windshield. This thing is twin turbo. It is basically a modern car underneath, but obviously old school on the outside. And it does have the smashed in windshield from where he threw something on it in the video. <laughs> Random tire cord laying outside the burn pit. Y'all wanna see this? Popular. They're big time here out here. Oh. See, but we need you to wake up for this one. We're voting to make some noise in the barnyard. All right, all right, all right. Are we good? Are we good to go? Are you good to go? Make sure what that thing does. over here and figure out how much money did you just blow jacking your engine up and like smacking fenders off of busted tires if you watch the hoonigans at all you should recognize travis pastrana subaru guys this thing is a, pretty much not even a subaru it's all race car everything about it's custom you can this tell. Is, yeah, it's, it's taking some damage. That's what he slid on when he slid off of the dock. Now, Ken Block put back wheels off of there. He built uh, some steel into here to make it actually go off of the dock and drag right there. I mean, you've got to have mad respect for this. This is the vehicle on this versus that with a jump. He actually beats people and then does a jump at the end of a thousand feet. It's got a ton of downforce. He can adjust the wing in the air and make it actually make you come down flat. This thing is nasty. Check out this Aha Porsche. This thing's sick. What are the fenders? Off road tires. I'm sure the suspension's there for travel. Yep. It's fair in the front because the engine's in the rear. Fuel cell in the front. Love the color. All right, this is an awesome Challenger wide body. It has carbon, lots of stuff on it, but what's in the back is what we really want to show you because this is what I have coming for my GT350 build. It should be here in a week or two. They're waiting on a couple more of these blades, but this is layers and layers. I'll let you tell, because we got the upgraded wing. This is Victor, Hi. owner of Victor hey, Racing. Nice to meet you guys. So what we have is our professional series racing wings. 
most wings are maybe a, a layer, two layers, a layer of fiberglass, a layer of carbon fiber. Uh, this wing, because of its shape, it's very aerodynamic, but it's also very thin. So of course, to make it work properly, we have to go six layers, which nobody really does. So two layers of, uh, of fiberglass, and then four layers of dry carbon fiber, and then all of it's baked in an autoclave. So it's super flexible in a sense that it's like an airplane wing. So under duress, it'll flex a little bit, uh, and that way it can take a lot of downforces. So it's rated over 200 miles an hour and over 3,000 pounds of downforce is what this wing can take. Check this out, guys. He's got it on some kind of program making it move. But this is active aero. It actually has, is it a gyro meter that will actually wire in in the trunk? Yeah, so it's got a built-in computer system and the computer system has a sensors. Um, so like a GPS, a accelerometer, and a gyroscope. So it just knows what the car is doing at any time and the wing will automatically uh, work. So installation's easy, it's just a 12 volt uh, connection to it uh, for, for power and then it just runs itself. While our vehicle is up at Fat House, they already put us a new uh, tap spot in, so we'll be able to wire this thing right up. Sam's gonna do the whole install, so this will be on our channel before long, but we just happened upon this here at SEMA, and I know this video is about the coolest stuff at SEMA. This is dope, I, I am pumped about this. This thing is ridiculous. This is an old F100 with pretty much every new lift and frame type of deal. This is a Franken truck if I've ever seen one. It's pretty doggone sick and that's on like, I mean, to show you how tall it is. The tires are, the uh, wheels are actually above my waist. We've even got a mini in there. I'm not into the big trucks so much like a lot of people are. When you throw an old body on there, you got my attention. This thing's even got shaved door handles. I mean, paint work on this thing is amazing. So this might be, not my, this is the sickest C8 vet at this whole SEMA show. This belongs to my buddy, Justin Jones, up in Sevierville, Tennessee. If I'm not mistaken, all or almost all of this entire body is forged carbon fiber. And guys, forged fiber, I don't know how familiar you are with it, but the more you look at it, the cleaner and nicer it looks. This thing's wide bodied. It is a YOLO type of car. This, this is the ultimate. It's got label everywhere. Check out this custom black and orange Tennessee Balls interior. I don't think it's meant to be that. And then you've got this satin uh, finish on this, and I believe that's painted. The motor's got tons of custom goodies on it. You've got the titanium blue tips. You've got this custom molded plastic over a carbon fiber intake. Carbon fiber everywhere. Check out those satin headers. This might be the cleanest finish on a wide body. Check that out. Guys, this thing. And I don't mean to go on and on about it, but this looks better than any Lambo that we've seen here. He may have Lambo money in it. I do want to show you these wheels. I'm a wheel guy. This looks like a brushed metal finish, but it's actually got a little paint on it because when you fill of it, you could actually rock this and it not be completely impractical. With label, right? Yep. So Andy with label popped the hood and, or actually, the frunk oh, right. and Justin the owner showed up and they popped this and I want to show you guys air can come in this front right here which is usually sealed off on a C8 and it will go through this functional ram and that's just for aerodynamics guys so that cuts I guess that adds down for us doesn't it it does that's right fully functional now the whole car is forged that's correct and you've got this wrap on here but underneath this it's like the ford grabber blue i can't remember that rapid, rapid, blue. rapid yep. blue is the chevy color yep um this may go in a museum local in tennessee but uh guys the, the carbon is finished on the inside of these panels too this may be the sickest build that i've seen it i know it's the sickest c8 it may be the sickest build at sema check out this lincoln continental resto mod and here's what makes this i mean this car special but this thing has a gt500 shelby mustang drivetrain in it guys this thing is nasty jump in there lincoln lawyer so i've seen this car on the internet many many times for this wrap color and these gold rohani wheels or bronze wheels whatever you want to call them this is the scheme I will use if I ever wrap, do a full wrap on another car. This color is awesome. You've got a nasty wide body Aventador. I mean, the lip 
on these wheels is crazy. Nice purple color. Periwinkle, Sam. Periwinkle. Yeah, this does look like a uh, color that a woman would pick out for a wedding. How do I look? How do I look? Do I look like I could own this? Hold on. Here we go. That's pretty slick. There's Vaughn in the fun haver Bronco. RTR action. Check this out. This is what you watch on the internet all the time. It's Vaughn's Mustang, the fun haver. Adam LZ's, I believe. You've seen this thing all over the internet. King of the Hammers, I believe. Excuse me if I don't know everything about everything. Check out these rally trucks drifting. Sucks. Tell your friends. Pretty wicked little ride right here. Big turbo BMW motor. Check out the patina finish on this. Pretty wild stuff. I'm not much into signs, but I do like these wheels. They're pretty nasty. And when I jump down here to look at them, notice these APB brakes and that's actually what Sam has on his truck it's hard to tell what this is because it's extremely resto modded but I'll go ahead and tell you this is a Chevy Corvair modern interior as you come around to the front the bodywork is insane it's crazy to see this many ridiculous Lambos you got Liberty Walk, Liberty Walk. Look at this wing on the back, guys. This is sick. I'm a big Lambo fan. I'm not much into movie cars, but the new Batmobile here at the Mickey, Mickey Thompson booth, like this thing is so wide, guys. It's like two and a half foot wider than a normal vehicle. And I want to show you the turbos in the back. The engine's impressive. But these turbos are just massive spoolie boys. And then you've got the big turbine. I don't know what to say. Like, this thing's sick. I would love to go rip this. G-Wagon by Creative Bespoke. This appears to be custom paints. Obviously a custom hood. You've got some sick two-piece Rahani wheels. The interior gotta get it from the front man if you're a vols fan like us go big orange i would rock that every day even sunday this thing's pretty sick if you're if you're into two or three or four hundred thousand dollar suvs i would drive this over anything i own in the entire back road driver garage this thing is sick Guys, this is what the Huna truck would be if it were a Chevy. It's got a 6.2 liter Cummins diesel, twin turbochargers. One of the biggest wings I've seen since I've been here. We've been looking for something to haul cars with on the channel. This is welder up. And guys, this thing, the reason I'm showing you this, I know it's an 18-wheeler, but this thing is detailed. Like, I mean, check out the metal rips here around the motor. That's pretty sick. The paint job is unbelievable. But look at the details on this stack. I mean, this is an ode to welders. 
like you've never seen. As you come around back, it's authentic. You've got a welder on, oxygen acetylene, this custom bike that looks like Mad Max. Even the straps on this thing have got checkerboard on them. And look at the paint job on this thing. This thing is nasty. Is this thing on bags? Oh my god. <laughs> it's gotta be on bags. That's crazy. <laughs> Even the handles back here for the record have got skulls on them. You got copper. It, no, that's real copper, guys. That's not wrap. That's real copper bent on. Like the time spent on this is unbelievable. It's finished. Even down to the dad blame mud flaps in the back. This thing is sick. I never knew I wanted an 18 wheeler. This early Bronco has a crazy paint job on it, guys. That's a real rust patina with a high gloss clear coat on top of it. This thing looks freaking sweet. It's even got a cowhide dash in this thing. This is sick. You got custom bumpers with the old classic Americana tailgate. This is a nice ride, guys. It's a pretty sick looking lowered wide body F-150. Pretty awesome looking uh, wrap on this thing, guys. Um, never seen a wide body kit on one like this. Got tails. Looks pretty sweet from all angles. Let me show you guys what I just bought over here at Trimming. So this is the T56 Magnum XL. This is what Fat House Fabrication right now is putting a built version of in my Shelby GT350. They say it's indestructible. We're gonna find out. Guys, I'm pumped to have this. It's a big upgrade from the factory transmission. It's gonna help us handle that horsepower. We had a little slip in third gear. This ought to take care of it. This wild little uh, wide body Bronco, you tell how fat it is. It actually has something hiding in here. APB brakes and that's what we're looking to put on our 21 first edition because those things are awesome on Sam's 2021 F-150 but man I can't even explain how custom like this is the ugliest Bronco I've ever seen I'm just gonna show you the front of it you tell me if you agree sorry if you own this but I think it's ugly So this is pretty unique. You'll see a white brake caliper on this side, black side of the truck. If I come over here, the whole side of the truck's white. And peeking out, it's a black with white lettering APB brake kit for this F-350. Guys, the detail here is insane. Who's spending, who is spending this much money on trucks? So they've got a custom white headlight over here. And we're all black on this side. Pretty wild little cut up. This is one of the most buttery smooth paint jobs I've seen. This is actually a Corvette. Look at that tag. It's glassed in right there. And it's resto modded big time. The company is Ken Digit Design right here. Corvette motor. Look at that deep navy metallic paint job, guys. I'd give this a 10 out of 10 right here. Man, what is that? Is that wrap or paint? Man, this is the nicest Toyota I've seen at the show so far. <laughs> Sorry, Toyota guys. I can't tell if that's wrap or paint, but they've made it look like it's a real working forklift. They've even broke the stick shift off over there, man. That is a really clean example right there. This is a pretty sweet Jeep build. Loving this Nardo Gray. Got the suspension on it, locked and loaded. I love this Nardo and black trim stuff. Oh snap, look. We got APB brakes. APB. I didn't even realize that. Yep. Guys, it's a pretty sick build. Look at this Resto Mod Charger, guys. You got the big Borg Warner Spinny Boys. Check this thing out. All black, everything.
Check out how this spoiler goes up in the back. Molded in. That is nice. This is a couple of really nice looking Cobra replicas. Loving the paint job on these. Guys, this one has a 7.3 Godzilla in it. This one's got a 5.0. Very nice work on both of these. So this is by Backdraft Racing if you guys want to know more about it. We haven't showed a lot of boots yet, but this is a different trend, and they have just the tips. Check out all of these sick exhaust tip parts. You've got green hue, blue hue, purple hue, the titanium look, the metal outlook with black in the back, dual tips, black tips. We're going to have to hit these folks up. You've got your one to fours right there. Some of this stuff is amazing. Got black chrome with a green hue tip. That would look really good on our track hall. Little metal punch metal look, carbon. This may just be the sickest GT500 I've seen. This is a big wide body kit. I mean, look at the layers of carbon. Wide body. This wing seems to be like the regular wing, but just a little bit bigger, maybe. Yeah, it's like Attention in the exhibit scaled hall. up just a little Attention bit more. Attention in the exhibit hall. Day one of SEMA 22 has come to an end. Tomorrow's show hours are from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Please make your way to the exits and have a wonderful evening. We'll see you all tomorrow. And that's how you shut down day one at SEMA. Make sure you check out the other two videos from SEMA in the end card here in just a second. And guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.